Congratulations. If you have received a copy of this final exam, it means you have successfully met all of the basic educational requirements for the Founders Foundational Program at the New Earth Academy. We commend you for your hard work and unwavering dedication thus far in assisting the New Earth First Founders in preparing to rebuild our precious planet Earth after the apocalypse. This comprehensive exam consists of two true-false statement questions, two short answer questions, six multiple choice questions, and a short essay. Your response to the short essay will be scored according to the problem-solving strategy presented and how well it reflects the ethos and objectives of the New Earth Founders' mission statement. Your essay response will also be assessed in terms of your ability to synthesize all core course material, as well as the level of impact your proposed contribution will have in achieving our goal of perpetuating life on Earth following a disaster or doomsday scenario. Essays that possess all of the above qualities are inspirational and demonstrate high levels of originality will receive the highest scores. You will have 90 minutes to complete your exam. You may not use any materials for this exam aside from your official Founders Foundational Program Little Black Book. When you have completed your exam, it is strongly recommended that you use any remaining time to revise and review your answers, especially your essay response for spelling, grammar, and factuality. Failure to achieve a passing score of at least 70% on this exam will result in immediate dismissal from the New Earth Founders Program and return to the civilian population. A score of 70% or above will qualify the candidate for consideration for the New Earth's Core Pioneers Program. In keeping with tradition, the candidate who earns the highest score on this exam and submits the most original and inspiring essay will be awarded a cash prize in the amount of $20,000. The first founders, faculty, and staff here at the New Earth Foundation and Academy wish the best application of knowledge, skill, and opportunity to you and to all life on Earth as we proactively prepare to rebuild our planet in the event of the apocalypse, to the next millennium and beyond. Britta Lernberg, first first founder and chancellor of the New Earth Academy. True false questions worth five points each. Number one. According to Martin Rees, the highly esteemed astronomer and author of Our Final Century, the odds of humankind surviving until the year 2100 are only 50%.
Answer. True. Question number two. There's no harm in hoping for the best as long as you're prepared for the worst. Stephen King. Answer. True. Short answer questions. Also worth five points each. Question number three. Among scientists, what are the five most likely causes of the imminent global apocalypse? Answers. Number one, cyber warfare. Also acceptable, cybergeddon, cyber terrorism, cyber warfare, cyber crime, or hacktivism. Do not accept loss of internet or Wi Fi connection or forgetting email passwords. Number two most likely cause of the imminent global apocalypse, climate catastrophe. Also acceptable, climate emergency, climate crisis, climate breakdown, climate change, environmental catastrophe, environmental emergency, environmental breakdown, or environmental crisis. Award one half point for global warming or global heating. Number three, infectious disease pandemic. Except any variation of global spread of infectious or communicable disease, or global disease outbreak. Do not accept computer virus or toxic people. Number four, nuclear apocalypse, also acceptable. Nuclear war, nuclear bomb, nuclear strike, or nuclear accident. Do not accept giant bomb or world war. Number five, most likely cause of the imminent or impending apocalypse. An asteroid or meteoroid collision with Earth. Also acceptable, comet impact, space junk collision, a shooting star, High energy solar flare, gamma ray burst, supernova explosion, or alien invasion. Note, award full points if answers are listed in the correct order of threat. Deduct one half point for each response that is not accurately ranked. Second short answer question. Question number four. What are the two most severe long-term effects on human civilization caused by most apocalyptic scenarios? List two. Answers. Earth could become uninhabitable for humans and most life forms. Also, students must include humanity could experience severe disruptions to global energy infrastructures, power grids, and technological systems, as well as losses of discoveries, inventions, technologies, information and knowledge 
acquired over hundreds of thousands of years of human existence. Accept any variation of all human knowledge and technologies could be severely disrupted or lost. Multiple choice questions worth five points each. Question number five. According to the official Global Apocalypse Preparation Plan, which steps are necessary to adequately prepare for the anticipated loss of information, knowledge, and communications technology that will occur from any type of apocalypse. A. Develop and implement serverless technological infrastructures. B. Design highly resilient physical and technological infrastructures that can sustain impacts from earthquakes, floods, fires, nuclear weapons, bombs, asteroids, and other forms of physical attack. C. Ensure that each municipality has its own functioning local power grid, an ample supply of generators, ham radios, and other wireless communication devices, and physical wires slash connector cables. D. Do not rely solely on cloud-based storage as a data storage strategy. E. All of the above. Answer. E. All of the above. Question number six. According to the official Global Apocalypse Recovery Commission's Critical Supplies List, which of the two essential supplies have been deemed to be of greatest importance in a post-apocalyptic world? For ensuring secure knowledge transmission, for surviving New Earth founders as well as future generations. A. Fire starting implements and multi-tool survival knives. B. Topographic maps and compasses. C. Heat resistant writing instruments and notebooks, preferably little black notebooks. D. Flashlights and water filtration systems. E. A and C. Answer. C. Heat-resistant writing instruments and notebooks, preferably little black notebooks. Number seven. According to the cuneiform clay tablets to little black books theory of human civilization, which human invention has been the most significant in promoting the greatest levels of technological progress, quality of life enhancements, cognitive development, creativity, knowledge transfer, improved human communications, and overall human advancement. In other words, which inventions, if lost, would have the most dramatic impact on humans' ability to restore previous levels of civilization. A. The invention of the telephone. B. The invention of the wheel. C. The invention of the internet. D. The invention of writing and writing implements. Answer, D, the invention of writing and writing implements. Question number eight. In designing educational programs for future generations of students in a post-apocalyptic world that lacks 
stable computer technologies, which skills would be given highest priority? A. Text-based literacy skills, especially handwriting skills. B. Computer programming skills. C. Iron forging and basket weaving skills. D. Machine and engine repair skills. E. Writing implement design repair and production skills. F. A and E. G. None of the above. Answer. F. Both A and E. Text-based literacy skills, especially handwriting skills, and writing, implement, design, repair, and production skills. Question number nine. In the post-apocalyptic New Earth society, why will scribes who possess expert levels of literacy be granted the highest levels of social status and privilege? A. Scribes will be able to decode and interpret surviving records of human discoveries, inventions, and texts to revive lost information. B. Scribes will be able to record new experiments, discoveries, inventions, knowledge, and wisdom for future generations. C. Scribes will not have high status in the New Earth Society because warriors will have greater status as protectors of the founders of the New Earth. D. Scribes typically possess ex exceptional levels of appreciation for the word, i.e. texts, documents, and books, and are therefore more likely to take necessary measures to preserve and protect all surviving books and documents. Answer E. All except C. And the official answer is answer E. All except C. Question number 10. Although the remaining pages of your little black book contained in your post-apocalyptic survival kit should be left blank for recording new discoveries, experiments, observations, and inventions. What should the first ten pages contain? A. Blueprints for creating wheels, nails, compasses, internal combustion engines, light bulbs, telephones, and internet. B. Instructions for irradiating water and food, slash removing fallout particles and radioactive materials from water and food. C. Detailed drawings of all plants known to be poisonous to humans. D. A choice selection of inspirational internet memes, including cat memes, for morale boosting. E. Instructions for purifying mold to develop penicillin. F. All of the above. Answer. F. All of the above. Short essay question. Worth 50 points. If awarded the $20,000 Founders Foundation Fund, how do you plan to use the prize money to ensure the survival of the human species and all other life forms on this planet? Word limit is 500 words. Example of a winning response. The essay submitted by last year's Founders Fund winner and recruit 
to the New Earth's Core Pioneers program. When one becomes aware of the imminent threats posed to all life on this planet by cyber attacks, climate catastrophe, disease pandemics, nuclear war, and asteroid impacts, it is cause for pensive reflection. The sadness one feels upon making this revelation is accompanied by a profound appreciation of just how much modern humans have created since they first emerged on this planet 200,000 years ago. Aside from being overcome by the desire to save every species on this planet from permanent extinction, one becomes determined to do as much as possible to preserve and protect the immense wealth of discoveries, inventions, and creations produced in humans' relatively short history. When the reality of the impending threats to Earth and human civilization really hit home for me, personally, I was working in cybersecurity. What ensued was a debilitating existential panic that I was wasting my life, since nearly all apocalyptic scenarios will almost inevitably involve a loss of computer technology and electronically stored information. However, after discovering the New Earth Foundation, my mission in life crystallized and I felt renewed hope. Since beginning my studies in the Founders Foundational Program, I have begun to actualize my mission as an instrument in the backing up process of all acquired human knowledge and experience in non-digital forms. While my training as a scribe has equipped me with the skills and knowledge needed to fulfill my mission, being awarded the Founders Foundation Fund would supply me with the resources necessary to empower many more field scribes to undertake the critical work of storing essential information in more secure and enduring formats. Thus, if awarded the Founders Fund, I would dedicate the entirety of this fund, excluding the $9,000 I need to pay off my student loans to commit to my mission full-time to Project Little Black Book. Through this project, promising young field scribes would be supplied with their own little black books similar to the one I received upon entering my scribe training. In my personal assessment, it is most alarming to observe that young people currently rely solely on insecure media formats to record their rich life experiences and to transmit knowledge. Thus, the use of a little black book, stored securely in a heat-resistant personal safe, is the best hope we have of transmitting to future generations the insights, experiences, aspirations, and knowledge of the most creative, inquisitive, and information-rich groups of young people since the dawn of human history. In my estimates, $11,000 is enough to distribute 550 little black books to the same number of carefully selected 18 to 24-year-olds across cultures. When charged with the task of scribing their culture's most essential qualities and equipped with the necessary record-making implements, I feel confident that these 550 individuals can play a hugely instrumental role in advancing the New Earth Founders' efforts to ensure the secure transmission of critical human knowledge and wisdom to many future generations, thus vastly increasing the chances of our species' longer-term survival.
It will be hard to top that, will it not? <laughs>